Hello, my name is uh, Derek Morrison. I'm a sales manager with Toshiba Canada, and today I'd like to demonstrate to you how we can wire wirelessly connect via a wireless interface card like this little thing here uh, to our various copper printers. Um, this is a Toshiba 409S, a 42-page minute desktop copier printer, but the same will work whether our Toshiba 409, 478, 50-page minute desktop printers, and our 389 and 479. Uh, color desktop printers. I uh, want to see that this little uh, connector just fits on the side of the copier like this. Like that. Uh, there it is right there on the side. And I, I noticed that um, for many small offices or small businesses, they don't they don't run a wired network. It may not be convenient to run, run a wired to that location or they may where this copier is only 30 pounds in weight, they might just want to pick it up and move it to different locations. So the wireless card can be handy to do that. Uh, I'm going to share a screen. We're going to start right away. So before you connect any copier printer wirelessly, you need to know the settings to be able to do that, set to input those into the copier's control panel. So if I look at settings right here under wireless, I want you to notice I have two wireless uh, um, connections. One is a 2.4 gigahertz connection called Buster's Bark, and one is a 5 gigahertz connection called uh, Tucker's Tooth 5. You need to record your password, which in this case is copyright 02. And then if you look at some advanced settings, uh, we need to know what the security mode is, which in this case is WPA2 personal. And the 802.11 mode is mixed 802.11.a slash n slash ac. Um, the copier's LCD control panel uh, right here is 2.8 inches, and you can certainly use your finger to move the panel back and forth. But if you were to get an inexpensive stylus like this one here, it's only about 99 cents. It makes it a lot easier to control the uh, control panel. So what we're looking at now is the LCD control panel is displayed via virtual network connection with my screen. And I want to draw attention to a couple of things. Number one is this little green icon right here uh, indicates that the copier is wirelessly connected. And when it does wirelessly connect, you can see right here it displays an IP address of 192.168.0.18.18. We need to uh, navigate to the settings button on the copier and it's going to load up. And we need to navigate to network ports and wireless. And we're going to set it up on the printer panel. So it's now searching for available wireless networks. And the one I'm interested in is called Tucker's 25. These other ones might be from some other wireless in my area that I don't know the passwords for. I need to make sure the uh, compatibility setting is correct for the copier. And it's at set at 802.11.a slash n.c. I need to make sure that the security mode is set for my copier properly. And it is at WPA slash WPA2 personal. And I need to type in my wireless pass passcode, which I've done. So when I return to my home screen on my copier, I can see that indeed the green arrow is uh, icon is working and I'm connected to 192.168.0.18. Uh, once the copier has established an IP address, um, it's now we can program the copier as we, as we require. It's now much easier to print the copier and scan, scan the email, scan the network folder. Uh, if I go down to the network tab here, and scroll down to wireless, I can review how I set this up. Uh, as I saw earlier in my, in my D-Link example, it's at Tucker Tooth, Tucker's Tooth 5. It's on 802.11a slash n slash ac for compatibility. It's wireless security mode is set properly to WPA2 personal. And I got my um, 
uh, wireless passcode typed in there as well at uh, copyright 02. So as you can see, this is my contact information. Um, I hope you found this brief tutorial on how to configure your uh, Toshiba uh, desktop copiers, printers to uh, work wirelessly. Um, as I mentioned, it'll work on uh, four different models, the Toshiba 409, the 409 SP, which is a printer version of the same, uh, the 478, the 389, and the 479. So at any rate, I hope you found this video informative uh, and have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you and bye.